Gemini. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your August tarot companion reading. Uh, the astrology part of it is in the link in the description below to complete this August forecast. Cards have been pre-shuffled to save time. Your overall energy and the energy the energy that will affect all of these cards is the chariot, cancer energy, major arcana, black and white, decisions being made, uh, path chosen, something is racing towards you. Let's put it that way. Ace of air, three of air, six of air. Fortune's Wheel, Three of Earth, the Hierophant is at the heart of your reading along with the Queen of Water and the Moon. Stop there for a minute. There is a new beginning, of course, racing towards you with the Ace of Air. There's some pain involved. doesn't feel like a suffering kind of pain at all this sounds very much like like healing healing energy with the six of air moving to that calm place within yourself things are about to flip around for you what department is that in money health but this is healing energy. Something that's going to motivate you, inspire you. There's collaborations, plans being made. And you're tapping into the higher conscious <clears throat> consciousness of levels with the Hierophant and Queen of Water. This is emotional, psychic connections. You'd almost look like a Pisces here, Gemini, navigating with the tide, feeling it out, going with the flow, taking you to that higher place, being fed. This almost looks like an out-of-body experience right here. to be stepping outside of yourself to, to reach that higher self. I've listened to some pretty interesting videos lately on meditations, not just the techniques, but uh, just interesting of what takes place alchemically when we meditate. And it, it seems like the harder we try to reach that higher level, Well, this is without effort for you, isn't it? Moon is a long journey ahead. One you may already be on. And it looks like a twist of events. Fortunate events on your journey. It will affect you emotionally. In a positive, positive way. Ending a cycle. Now, isn't this interesting? The two corners, fortune's wheel and the world. So this would be about at the end of an old cycle, choosing, you know, which path for the new cycle. Uh, you're not choosing alone. Others are in mind. Others are working on this blueprint with you. This is a brand new and, you know, beginning in truth, in beginning in reality rather than illusion, even though this is at the heart of it with the moon card which is which is about you know those it's like you're doing woo phobics three of water messenger of earth six of fire long journey this journey is wow 
victory, admiration, reward, celebration. And you may not want this moment to end. Curious, because, you know, the month of August, with everything that's going on, I'm kind of wondering, Gemini, is August going to be that turning point for humanity where we go into recovery? That would be nice. That would be very nice. Perhaps you're playing a role here, Gemini, in healing. Not just self, but rising above yourself to see the big picture. This collaborative effort, this journey that you've been on. Or now that I'm seeing this world card, this new journey, things are flipping around. Things are changing quickly. That's that law of attra attraction coming in. It's slamming into reality. This new beginning and the six of fire down here. Victory in this new... Wow, this is really strong energy on the esoteric level as well as the physical. It's interesting because this is all esoteric energy, higher level consciousness. Um, your way being lit. These are signs showing up. Fortune's wheel. These are signs showing up maybe to confirm that you're on the right path or to illuminate your path to for this collaboration what the next planned steps are going to be reunion is racing towards you this is past energy this really feels Woo. This is a real woo reading. Now, this is interesting, uh, Gemini, because the Five of Vessels is, is saying it's ecstasy here. But because of the visual and the traditional meaning of the Five of the Vessels, this feels like out of body, an out of body experience where you're just rising above the pain or whatever pain is surrounded. Maybe it's rising above the global pain and realizing maybe this is um, a final cutting of, you know, the ending of an old cycle. The ending of an old cycle in order to begin anew. And that's going to be. Yeah. What is this ecstasy? Rising above that pain. Clarity. Clarity of sight. Clarity of understanding. Clarity of what you have to do to prune the tree, to allow it to grow even larger. These two energies together kind of feel like, you know, uh, I don't know, Gemini, a cesarean section. Cutting an umbilical cord. You taking on this energy of clarity. Three of bows, fulfillment. Is this that aha moment? Like finally your ship's coming in. Tenfold, sixfold. Threefold.
when you make this leap boy oh boy Gemini what are you doing on the fortune's wheel making this leap if the two of arrows shows up I'll be surprised because this is that decision made almost like the universe made it for you but you're ready you're ready enlightenment awareness awareness collaboration the blueprint yeah it does feel like an aha moment all right so we are working on this equation mathematical equation and it's not adding up your incorrect answer so you know three heads are better than two and etc etc collaboration the blueprint the awareness of what it is the universe is bringing towards you and what it is that is ending what did i just say there's the two of arrows i just mentioned difficult difficult decision to bring balance all the elements are here this is alchemy at work that decision And do you notice too, Gemini, how oh, she's blindfolded? It's Libra energy, but her eyes are closed. Closing your eyes and taking the leap. The awareness of knowing this, that you are on this chosen path. Clearance, you are going to clear it. this leap of faith jumping into this new cycle into this new reality that's unfolding in the world um <clears throat> very little effort on your part i don't know what this decision is that you are making it doesn't look like you're making this decision alone something is coming to light for you this reality check frustration you've been frustrated on this journey so maybe that's what's delaying a decision there's you're going to have this moment of hesitation doubts second guessing yet you have to make this decision as difficult as it is you need to rise above it and the effort will be minimal Your fear, I think, here, this fear of not hitting your mark. But I'm here to tell you, Gemini, you are hitting that mark. You know, that's the the fool card that, that has taken that leap of faith. But look at this, the brightness of this one. Uh, you know, be the goat. Be the one that these arrows that are sh being shot at you to impede your progress they're frustrating these obstacles but you are going to clear it clear the obstacle you're going to clear whatever obstacle this is i guess maybe this decision is exactly how am i going to clear it am i going to jump left or right on this path maybe what this six of vessels is showing you is that through your past experiences the only way is through it that balance of left and right to full speed ahead protection not much needs to be said about that, does it, Gemini? Protection. 
this is a solid foundation this cycle that's completed is well established for the new cycle to build on well established nine of pencils now this says generosity it's also wish fulfillment look at this celebration like this 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 is worthy of giving thanks gratitude helping others where you have collaboration and awareness here with the three of pentacles and the the hangman card we have the three of cups celebration and joy over this wish fulfillment and it still has that energy coming through gemini of rising above the pain having to have that step out of that emotion perhaps this is what you're grappling with in august grappling with emotions and what needs to be done on a logical coming correct before proceeding energy the hooded man now look at that very slow energy very strong virgo energy so when you check out your astrology side uh showing your challenges your strengths what you can expect in august where the planets are for you keep virgo in mind virgo energy not that you're necessarily going to be dealing with a virgo you may be but the energies are navigation the correct steps the long journey that took so long and frustrating to complete to complete now moving forward there is careful thoughtful that feels so much like gratitude right there gemini gratitude that maybe this gratitude has something to do with i'm glad i waited you know that these obstacles have shone a light in this new reality and now we have deep emotional enduring love someone who loves you admires you rising together it's like your sign is in on the rise here which is curious because of it being august when we're in a in the middle of a global switch like a polar shift like taking that jump and leaving the planet in order to reach which is going to be effortless so any meditations that are going on in you in august for you in august um i think you're going to come to some insights here gemini some important insights let's focus on a message of love uh, or advice and yeah do check out your your planets where they are and how they affect you in that link in the description below what is the message for gemini or advice when it comes to love in the month of august for gemini make the effort great love is worth taking the steps that you are being guided to take and i don't feel like these are steps that you well yes these are steps that you can only you can take this is your journey but there's collaboration here there's a plan there's people working together 
giving you like you know when you're gonna mount a horse and somebody holds out their hands and gives you that step up we have true love here oh boy past life or relationship that shows up here this clarifies this card of the past And this joy and wish fulfillment really feels like surrounding that, like surrounding you, this energy of gratitude that you took that effort to take the steps you were guided to take for self-awareness and understanding. Having to step out of the emotion as well to be clear. And then like look at these look at these foundation cards. This is definitely a foundation card, the four of stones. It's the same as the four of pentacles. Waiting for that right moment to release. Well, I really hope that helped. I hope that was enlightening for you. And for all you subscribers, God bless you. If you haven't, please do. And check out your astrology half, the companion to this reading. It'll be in the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me, Gemini. God bless. Bye-bye for now.